of this tutorial is how to make residue curves in Aspen Plus. So if we want to open up Aspen really quick, I'm going to open up a new file, Blink Simulation. Let's say we had a three component system similar to this, so isopropyl acetate, isopropyl alcohol, and water. So water is very recognizable, we can just type it in. But if we want to search for um, isopropyl uh, compounds, So here we have isopropyl acetate and isopropyl alcohol. So here we've got the right two. I'm just going to rename this one. And rename this one. So now since we're in Aspen, we can hit the next button. So now we have to decide our method name, and for this uh, type of system, NRTL is fine, but when we choose NRTL, we have an ideal gas associated with it if there is a vapor. I'm just going to pick um, NRTL RK, so Riddler Kwong. Now this is just interaction parameters, don't need to worry keep hitting next. So now we can run the analysis right away. So table generation is complete and now if we are in the properties section over here and not the simulation one we get this analysis um, option up here under the, the uh, home ribbon menu. So if we want to look at residue curves but here if we want to, of course, find more information, we can click on the first one. We can find azeotropes in our system with the second. Uh, with the last one, uh, we can make a residue curve with our uh, uh, ternary system. However, we want to click Use Distillation Synthesis Ternary Maps. This gives us much of the um, usability of Aspen. So we get this distillation synthesis tab. Now component 1, 2, and 3 are already fixed. It's fine. Just going through our property models, everything's fine. Now here you can click mass fraction or mole fraction. We want mass fraction. And our pressure is 100 uh, millimeters mercury. And now over here, click our ternary plot, and here is um, the environment in which you can start to look at uh, residue curves, add points, add lines, um, a lot of you know, user functionality in here. So over here we have um, switch the coordinate system, so the default is this right triangle, you can make it the uh, equilateral triangle. Now, for this article, if we want to use this as a guide, we want isopropyl acetate on the left, isopropyl alcohol on the right, and water on the bottom. So if we actually go back, and we can flip this around, or rotate it, and move it all around. Uh, so if we want to get um, so isopropyl acetate, isopropyl alcohol, and water, so now we match um, the system uh, in the or journal article. So here also we can add and remove different markers, boiling point temperatures, vapor curves, tie lines, um, all of these different things. So we're just left with our uh, vapor liquid liquid envelope. And we can even remove that too if we want to. So we can add everything back. Now if we want to add in our um, our envelope. So 
So we add everything back. Now these temperatures are kind of in the way, so we're just going to drag these out. And these red um, markers are the um, azeotropes. So with this, now we can start to look at um, our actual distillation process. So here from the table, we have uh, our initial distillation step, our initial and our final. And if we want to let's see, add in um, uh, our markers, we can. So over here on the right hand side, we have uh, add a tie line add a tie line by the value. We can add a curve, add a curve by value, add a marker, add a marker by value. So if we click add marker by value. We can choose what basis we want, mass or mole. Stick with mass fraction. And our water over here we can see is 10%. So 0.1. Isopropyl alcohol is 0.386. And we'll calculate our third one for us. Click OK. And now we have our point right there. And our final one, if we want to add that one, again we want to add a marker by value. Um, our water is going to be 0.143, isopropyl alcohol 0 0.702. Click inside and you can see our uh, third one there. And that adds our point right here. Now we can see that those pretty much match up for A and B. And if we were to add some more points, we can get C and D uh, from the table. So this is how you um, start to look at residue curves. You can add lines um, and also add in the mesh in the background if you like the triangular um, point of view. Um, you can rearrange it however you want to. Um, so that's it for uh, residue curves in Aspen.